Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And good evening, everyone. It's just me today. Welcome. Welcome to the LB Hack em Up slash Hack Recklessly channel. Um, just me today. Normally I'm in on uh, Thursdays, but uh, the wife is out of town and I've got nothing to do. I'm not, I finished work, sort of. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to play some ESO today. One of my favorite games. Um, how's everybody doing? I can't tell if people are watching. I'm very new to this. Incredibly new to this. I got a quick rundown from uh, from Becca the other day to show me how all this <sighs> wizardry works. If anybody's out there, how you doing? Woo! Hey, Becca. Seems like everything seems like everything is doing pretty good. It's weird hearing my own voice. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I will. I will try to have a great stream. Um, I'll probably stream for about an hour and a half, two hours, uh, or until uh, the fatigue uh, catches up with me. And I'll try not to ramble too much, because I know I'm definitely going to be doing that a lot today. I'm going to tilt my camera up just a hair. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just slouch a little bit. Here we go. Perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. So, today, I am playing Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, for those... <laughs> yes, I will ramble away. Uh, but I bet there's quite a bit, quite a bit of a delay at this point. Um... For those who do not know the game, um, it is set in the Elder Scrolls universe, same universe as uh, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Daggerfall, Arena, so on and so forth. Um, but it's an MMO, which is awesome. What are you doing? Excuse me. Of course, Pepper's down here joining me today. Uh, she was just on my lap until a moment ago, and now she's very awake and ready to play, so... We'll see what happens there. Um, so yeah, MMO set in the Elder Scrolls universe. One of my favorite games. Uh, I've been playing Elder Scrolls since, I don't know, junior high, high school. I think I played Morrowind. And then it was just a downhill. I'm the first one. I am the first one to new, use the new overlays, overlays. Super special. Very special. I'm the best. That's why. I'm the best streamer. Even though I've never streamed before. I've just joined other streams. Used to have a YouTube channel a very long time ago. It's a trash fire. It was, t it was terrible. Did it with my uh, my college roommate in uh, senior year of college. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, let's just hop right into this, I guess. So let me s bring up the game. Huzzah! This looks to be working. So far, so good. So, um... Got the character character select screen. Um, character select screen. Here's my main. He's the guy I've had, I think, the longest. Uh, but I'm not playing with him today. I'm gonna. I'm going to do what I've been waiting for a while to do. Is that, as you can see, I, I have a lot of characters. I have a I have a, a slight problem. Um, <laughs> I do this in every game that you can create characters and personalize and stuff. Skyrim, Fallout, the, the like. Uh, I'm gonna create another new character. You can have a maximum, but you can pay for a couple extras, and I may or may not have done that. Uh, and so I'm going to create a new character that I've been kind of having an itch to play. Uh, at least savings, especially for the stream, of course. Um, I've been having an itch to play an ice mage, but who also uses fire stuff, which, ooh, <laughs> so creative. Uh, so basically, a, like, a sort of frost fire mage is what I'm aiming for. Uh, there's a there's an armor set, or uh, an item set. If you wear enough pieces, I believe it's five. If you wear uh, five or more pieces, whenever you do any ice damage, there's a pretty decent percent chance of an, a, a, your enemies um, like exploding. Like, or just bursting into flames. So I was like, hell yeah, that sounds awesome. So just throw some fire around and then just start slinging ice at people and people just start exploding. And I was like, hell yeah, this sounds awesome. 
Uh, so that's my class. That's the class. Well, we'll get to the class here in a second. So what I'm going to start with is what race and alliance I'm, go I'm going to be. Ordinarily, um, I believe it. Yeah, it's one, two, three here. So these three races, Nords, Dar uh, Dark Elves, also known as Dunmer, and Argonians are under the Ebonheart Pact. However, I have something that I bought quite a long time ago, which allows me to do any alliance, any race. Uh, I do not have the Imperials. Uh, never really was super interested in doing that. But um, So the alliances have to do with... Uh, how do I... <laughs> <laughs> How in depth do I go here? Um, the alliances have to do with there was there was an empire, I think maybe the first one or second. Um, I think the third empire, maybe fourth, are what's around in Skyrim. So it's been quite it's, it's a long time in the past. Elder Scrolls Online is set way in the past from Skyrim. I could not tell you how many years. I think a couple thousand. Um, but even still, like this, it's an old world. So the, even even here, it's not like this is the beginning of time. Uh, so the first empire fell of s something like that. Uh, the em the emperor died. There's a whole story about it. And when that happened, there was a void in power. And so now everybody is like scrambling to kind of fight and take over. I believe it's called the ruby throne. So the the throne in um or the. Uh, the seat of power in uh, Cyrodiil, which you can visit in uh, the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which is set much later, of course. Um, so the three basic, if I could, if I were to bring up a map, which I will later, uh, you can, the three different races in each kind of like the northeast and the northwest and the south all banded together and they're kind of, they're the three alliances. I think it's called the Three Banner War or the Three Alliance War, if technically in the lore. Uh, so the Argonians, Dark Elves, and Nords are banded together under the Eben Ebonheart Pact. Uh, the High Elves, Wood Elves, and Khajiit are under the Aldmeri Dominion. Uh, the Aldmeri Dominion comes back in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Um, I think just like a little bit before, and I think there was a war, and then the Empire lost, and then there was, I think it was called the White Gold Concordat, and then that's where all the kind of like the political... Uh, mumbo jumbo kind of happens in Skyrim with the Aldmeri Dominion and the Thalmor, who are some people who work for the Aldmeri Dominion. And then, of course, the, the remaining three are the Bretons, uh, the Orcs, and the Red Guards, who are um, allied under the Daggerfall Covenant in the Northwest. So, I'm going to start this character with I I don't I don't want to say they're my favorite race, but they have the most nostalgia for me for playing Morrowind because Dark Elves come from the province of Morrowind. Uh, and the game Morrowind was, is set on the island of Vardenfell, which you can actually go to in this game because of the uh, the Vardenfell or Morrowind expansion or chapter. So I'm going to stick with Dark Elf. I, I love the lore behind them. I like the... They're, they're not the greatest of people, but then again, all of the, all of the races have their downfalls. Um, so I'm going to stick with Dark Elf. I'm going to start in the Ebonheart or uh, in the Ebonheart Pact. I'm going to stick to the Ebonheart Pact. I'm going to stick to that story. I'm going to do the main quest. Uh, my goal for this character is to actually pay attention to the quests instead of just kind of zipping through and just just zipping through and saying, "I blah blah blah." blah. I just want to I just want to kill stuff. Hello, Kreez. Hello, welcome. Don't know how much you've heard. I don't know how much you've seen. It's quite a big delay. Um, but I'm basically creating a new character on Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to pay attention to lore. I'm going to actually listen to... At least, I'm not going to listen to every single word. If they're, if the voice actor's dragging on a little bit, I'll probably skip, just for everybody's sake, including my own sanity. Uh, but basically, every quest, every, every dialogue in this game is fully voiced. And so, obviously, a lot of... A lot of time and energy... Uh, an effort has gone behind creating this game and all of the content within it. Um, and so I'm actually going to try to save it and pay attention to it for once. <laughs> Might as well. I, I remember bits, but I, it's, there's, there are moments where I like I do not remember some of the early bits of the game. And especially with some of my, some of my other characters who are still a bit uh, newer. I still just kind of zip through and just do whatever. Uh, so I'm going to pick 
the Warden class. Warden specializes in, as you can actually see over here on the right, the Wardens are defenders of green, um, uh, master storytellers whose nature tales become magical reality. They wield frost spells against enemies and summon summon animals to aid them. So you got you got plant stuff, you got animal stuff, you got ice stuff. It's a weird mumbo, a weird uh, conglomeration of stuff into one class, and I always felt a little weird on its class identity. But I want that ice spells. I want to have that frost fire mage that I'm going to make. I'm probably since I can't get that set right away. I'm just going to mix some the fire and ice together and just kind of wing it. Um, some of the other classes are Dragonite, who specializes in uh, fire, dragon themed stuff. I think there's some rock stuff and I think poison as well. Uh, they're really tanky, good for uh, they're, they're kind of good all around, not very good healers. Uh, sorcerers, you got lightning, you got Daedric summons, you got dark magic, which is cool stuff. Uh, night blades, they do shadow, sneak attacks, um, they can do siphoning spells, kind of like kind of like blood magic a little bit um assassination that doesn't mean they're a sneaky class they have some sneaky capabilities but you can be a healer nightblade you can be a tank nightblade which is really cool so you can take a bunch of damage you have your shield but then you're you're using these siphoning spells to heal you while doing damage and just kind of it's a fun it's a fun class i like it it's it it can be a little challenging in some in some ways templar is a very great all-around class probably my favorite class just i just love the aesthetic Think, think, um, think, Pat Paladin from World of Warcraft, uh, mixed in with like a light priest. Uh, I haven't played WoW in a long time. Do a lot of sun damage, uh, light damage, a lot of healing. Probably one of the best healers in the game, um, if not definitely the one of the best. Actually, Necro is pretty good too, um, and Warden. Now that I think about it, um, great starting class. Just a great class in general. Very balanced and does very well on its own. Warden already did Warden. Uh, Necromancer, pretty self-explanatory. Um, summoning dead. You can you can be a tank. You can be a healer. You can do damage. And just all kind of themed around undeath stuff. Very cool class. A little bit harder to play. Not that hard. Um, but there are some challenges that if you're a new player, uh, it, it requires it's a, there's a little bit of nuance behind it. And also, as you can see in the red here, being a necromancer and doing certain necromantic uh, abilities in towns or around guards is illegal because obviously necromancy is generally frowned upon. People don't like dead corpses running around. Uh, so yeah, back to Warden. Uh, champion gear, some cool stuff. I think this is, uh, I'm not sure what, uh, not sure what uh, set this is. This might be related to the newest release, so. Body, I'm just gonna do whatever I gotta go muscular. You gotta. You have to. Uh, make him a little taller. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time here because generally you're gonna be wearing, you're gonna be wearing stuff so you can't see. You can hide your helmet like you can as in the, as this character is doing, so you can actually see what's happening here. Um, I don't need to do this. Torso size, sure. Uh, chest size, yeah, whatever. Make him a little muscle. I want a little bit of meat on his bones. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a mage, but I don't want him all just scrawny skin and bones. He's gonna be a fit guy. Why not? Growing up in the ash wastes of uh, Stone Falls or Vardenfell, wherever I think I'm probably gonna decide in my head. I'm not big on I I like role playing has a weird taste in my mouth. <laughs> it's a weird phrase to use, but. We all kind of do it. At least I do it in my head. Like, I'm not, like, full-on role-playing the character. But I'm kind of in my head. I, like, imagining... Uh, imagining... Imagine... Like, the backstory behind the character. Kind of keep a theme. Each one of my characters has their own kind of theme. As you can tell, this one's going to be Frost... Frostfire Mage. Uh, hip size doesn't really matter. Posterior dimensions. Oh, you, got, you, you gotta... You gotta go for the donk. Look at this. Boom. I wish I could do that to myself. Boom. No more squats, just a, a slider. Perfect. Leg size, yeah, sure, it's fine. Foot size, yeah, it's fine. Sure. I'd give him a tattoo, but you never see it. You could also probably barely ever see his hair. Heroic. Oh, look at that. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's soft boy. All right. Oh, right in the middle. A little bit there. That's not too bad. Sure. That's a fine enough voice, if you ask me. 
Uh, let's do some hair. I, I, I am a fan of the... Maybe I can make them bald just like me. <laughs> I could. I like this idea. Hmm. I could go pretty typical, though. I love the long hair. However, if you don't have a helmet on, it can look a little funny. There would be some clipping. Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid that just a little bit. Uh, you, oh, you can't go wrong with the... I mean, you can't go wrong with this. This wouldn't be frowned upon in any sort of dining establishment, right? Not at all. Hair color. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I could do a little dark. Nope. I like lore stuff. Some kind of dark hair, sure. Give him a couple years. Increase the age a little bit. Adornment. I think that's facial hair. Oh. Scruffy boy. What do we got? Then I, I think I have some other ones. Ooh. I like this. I like the beard. No, no spindly beards. Oh. Oh, what a man. <laughs> oh, you can't go wrong with a handlebar. Cannot go wrong with a handlebar mustache. Uh, no. Ooh. Can't go wrong in there either, but it looks too... It looks a little too much. And I think I have a couple other adornments I have unlocked that I can't access through here because this is for this is available for everybody. I did kind of like that um goatee sort of deal. Where'd that go? Not that one. Not that one. Or was it that one? I don't mind that. It does make him look like a little bit like dad. A dad. Not my dad. My dad does not look like this. Let's see here. I mean I, I may have to just default to the big beard. I like the big beard. I think it looks good. Head markings. I think this is just kind of like freckles and scars and war paint. Uh, like I said, I don't think you will never really see it unless you kind of specifically try. Oh, they've added a few. I don't recognize some of these. That's kind of badass. But I'm not really going for that sort of look. I'm thinking this is a guy who, like I said, growing up in the ash, in the ash places bunch of mushrooms. I don't really need to change his face that much, do I? I can change his nose, why not? Chin size, can't even see his chin, don't worry about it. Cheekbone height? Eh, he's wincy. Okay, sure. Cheekbone size? Nah, that's fine. Neck? That is a neck, yes. He has neck. Uh, his eyes? Uh, so, de so Dunmer uh, slash Dark Elves have red eyes. There's a whole story behind it. They didn't always look like this. There's uh, some shenanigans that happened in the past, and the them as a race got cursed by a god. A little bit of an oversimplification, but that's basically what happened. So they look different now. Um, that looks weird. The gray looks weird. I'm used to the red. You can go pink. Nothing wrong with little pink eyes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with little pink eyes. Uh, his ears are fine. Maybe a little bit bigger. Why not? Ear angle. Sure, that's fine. Eye separation. He looks fine. You like this? No. Eye height. Whatever. Squint. Squinty boy. Uh, let's do some eyebrows. What's all that at the end? Now, those are some eyebrows. A little too much, though. What about these? Those seem okay. I like those. Heroic. Let's see here. Eyebrow, eyebrow skew. Ah, that, I think that makes him kind of like left and right. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies. Mm -hmm. Eyebrow depth. He's got deep eyebrows. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> no shape. I mean, it's just kind of... He has a normal nose. All noises, all noses are normal. What am I talking about? A wider nose. Sure. Nose length is fine. Mouth, whatever. Lip fullness. Got some luscious, juicy lips. Ear size. I thought we did ear size already. I'm confused. This is eye size. Oh, I thought we did ears. Whatever. Ba -ba -ba. Ears. The flare. It's going to fly away. All right. Okay. Name. Name, 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 name. I 
am a sucker for lore friendly stuff. I'm just going to do a quick search. Dunmer lore names Morrowind. Because that's how I do. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. And the thing is, probably most of them are already taken. Morrowind. Da, da, da. These are all first names. Are there family names? Female. What about last names? The family name is perfect. Here we go. Okay, I like some of these already. Arathen Velas. Oh, I do have, I did have. So Drelas, yes. Drathen. Ha! Drathen, I like it. Drathen. Uh, I'm just going to quick. There's so many names on here, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, so Drathen would be his family slash mid, uh, last name. Uh, I think I have a Skyrim character with that last name. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just scan through Maros Drathan. How about this? I like it. It's got a ring to it. Perfecto. Pink eye, mohawk, big full beard, luscious, juicy lips, frostfire mage. Um, good to go. Okay, so I've played this game a lot. I do not need to play the the uh, tutorial. I'm going to skip. It's going into this world buck naked, plus underwear. We're all naked always under our clothes. Looks like Pepper has gived up. Gived up. She gived up. Here she is right here. She's a mantle. I don't know where we end up though. I don't know where I'm going. Where's it gonna plop me out? Every time every time there's an expansion or a new chapter release or what or what have you, they the send you someplace new. You. Ah. Okay, so they did Mine first person? Oh shoot. I don't like being first person. So it has plopped me in I don't need all I have a bunch of add-ons. Ignore these, because I don't need to craft with this character. Um, I don't need to fish. D -d 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 treasure maps. If I know I will deposit them into my bank. <laughs> Unknown lore books. I will need that. No fishermen. Anything else in here I don't need. I think I got duplicate sky shards on my map. Sky shards, you collect them and you get skill points if you can, uh, collect enough of them. I think it's like every three you get a skill point to spend on stuff. Um, good enough. Okay. Uh, what I might need to do, though, is get a companion. Hmm. I might have to get a companion just to help this because it's a, it's a newbie character. But the game is pretty easy, so maybe we can go, go ahead without it. Uh, so we are in Blackwood, which is an area... Of, I believe this is actually technically yes, it is in Cyrodiil. I am in the uh, right outside uh, the town of Leowin, which you can visit in the Elder Scrolls. Uh, I'll just say Oblivion in the Oblivion game, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Um, I'm sure I'll keep saying Oblivion for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, here's the map, big old map. I'm going to point at it just so you know, I because <laughs> you could definitely see it. Uh, so in the middle, there's Cyrodiil, which is the seat of the Imperial Empire, and it fell, or something happened, I don't remember exactly. I think it was, uh, has to do with the main quest. Uh, it fell, so these these provinces of uh, where the Bretons, Orcs, and Red Guards are from, they banded together. Uh, then we have the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves over here. Uh, this is Khajiit and Argonian, that's kind of complicated. And then there's the South, Southwest, which is the Altmeri Dominion, which are... Uh, wood Elves, High Elves, and Khajiit. Um, and they're all vying for power. This, and you can actually go to Cyrodiil, and this is actually the PvP zone. Well, one of the PvP zones. And there's a whole, it's interesting, it's difficult, I'm not good at it, I'll stay away. Um, but it's fun. Well, it's, it's fun in theory until you try it and you get your ass kicked. <laughs> get your ass handed to you. Um, so I'm going to teleport. Well, I'm not going to teleport just yet because uh, I need to get to a way shrine, which I can use to teleport. Uh, okay, so 
Uh, I have mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all these tutorial pop-ups. Yep, yep, yep. Oop. I, uh, so I have all these things expired from my other characters. Uh, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to wear light armor. Open up this box of fun stuff. Uh, let's see here. Inferno staff. So a fire staff. So now I have a staff. Um, I don't need these. Actually, these are breaches. So light armor here. Um, and then I don't need any of these thingies. I can't even sell them. They're not worth anything. They are the, the beginning of the beginning of equipment. Destroy. All right, that's everything. I don't even have any quick, quick slots or anything. All right, so you start off, you get some, you get some, uh, points to spend on your character. So I'm now level, I started at level three, probably mo mostly because when you do the tutorial, you do things that give you experience and then you leave the tutorial ending up about level three, just because, just from doing the stuff. Um, this is a magicka based character. This is going to be a spell caster. Um, and so I'm going to put everything into, ma uh, into magicka. Um, da, 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 da. Let me go and claim my other one. All right, so now uh, here's another newbie right here. Okay, so I put everything into here. Um, I have all these titles, which is super cool. I don't think I'll use it yet. I'll call it a. Uh, any of these? Any of these sound good to me? A mystic. Why not? I unlocked those titles on uh, on my other characters. Um, off at one. Da, da, da. So here are all of my stats. I have no active effects. I got nothing going on. Completely fresh, completely new. Um, or there, that's my guild. Okay, so skills. All I have are my class skills. So the animal companion stuff. So this is all animal stuff, obviously. Um, green balance, which is healing and uh, plant-based things. And then winter embrace, which is the frost stuff. Uh, so I will start with Frost Cloak, and I'll put it here. I need to change my controls very quickly. Ability 1 goes on my mouse. Ability 2 goes on my mouse. Oop, up, up. 1 and 2. Oh, don't do that. And 3, bind. I'm going to add a couple other things real quick. Nameplates on so we can see who's what. Uh... Gameplay. I don't remember if I need to change any of these things. Uh, loot history. Auto loot on. Camera's fine. Interface. Oh, I want to show my stuff. Where is that? Combat. Ability bar. Always. I always want to see it. On. Display timers for your activity. Yes, I want to always show my attribute bars. I don't need the numbers. Auto, ultimate. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'll put it in. Why not? Add-ons. I got a bunch of add-ons. Ooh, I should have updated those before I started. Oh, well. Um, actually, I may need to do that real quick just to make sure everything's working, but eh, maybe not. I'll be fine. Uh, NPC subtitles on, yes. Social, everything else seems fine. Controls, already did that. Resume. Okay. So now you can see my quick, my uh, action bar on the bottom, or my ability bar. I'm also going to s turn up my brightness because you guys need to see. Gamma adjustment. There we go. A little bit better. Okay. So, I have one ability. Ice. So far. But I need to go unlock my... Uh, my staff ability. So I'm going to quickly... Ooh, that sounds like fun. But this is a very brand new character. And thus cannot do a whole lot. If I could find like a little... Just like a chicken or something running around. I don't feel like just shooting a staff at something over and over till it dies. Um, ooh, and I also need to do... I need to pick my champion points, which I will get into in a moment. 
Mm -hmm. Anything quick and easy I can kill around here? Hello? Anyone ready, ready for death? Butterflies? Ah, screw it. I'll just keep shooting the wolf till it dies. Because why not? Ba ba ba. I did not want that thing to pop up. What was that? Ooh. Ah, whatever. Okay. I just got I just got some experience and I just unlocked the destruction staff. There we go, finally. And I'm going to unlock this. So this is going to be my main source of damage. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't really want to use any of these. Green balance will be useful. I will unlock that as well. All right, then that's all of my skill points. Okay, so now that I have ooh, some stuff back, back. got some gauntlets, why not? Uh, ba -da -da -da. Put those on because why not? Um, all right, so there is a, I know you probably can't see it because of the stream elements on top, but on my compass up here, this is point, uh, there is a way shrine right here. Perfecto. Got some experience for finding it. Awesome. Fast traveling, you find a way shrine in the world, you use it, and you can go to other way shrines you have discovered or who that have been discovered for you. Uh, for example, um, I believe mo every starting area in every zone, uh, well, not zone. Uh, how do I explain this? Um, some of these zones are unlocked with DLC, so they're chapters, they're expansions, what have you, and they tend to drop new players into the expansion pl place, such as right now. Um, the most recent expansion is Blackwood. So that drops me just outside of Leowin. Don't know why it didn't drop me off here. And not over here. Ooh, I forgot to cut I forgot to get that sky shard. Let me run and get that real quick. Um, so I could theoretically go to Vardenfell. But I want to start from the quote unquote beginning. You can start any any quest. You can just do whatever. You can but I want to do it in kind of the the sort of chronological order. Because I want this character to be kind of more focused on the story. Oop, that's I need to go upstairs. Upstairs, I need to go over here. Up, 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 up. The stairs we go, and then the tunnel. Get the sky shard, and that should be my first one. And I'll need two more to get another free skill point. One out of three, perfect. And I can see on my map up here, which I wonder if I can move this move these things so you don't yeah that works I'm gonna do this it's kind of weird looking on my other screen to see something I can't see in mine yeah that works good enough it's a really weird spot for me oh, let's kill this wolf because why not and heavy attack and hit with main attack light and boop light and boop So a very good technique for actually doing da somewhat decent damage in this game is to um, to know first of all your abilities have a um, they have a a cooldown. So if I'm gonna do that mushroom thing, which heals stuff in front of me slash me as well, I guess you can just do it whenever. Technically, <laughs> technically there is a cooldown built into the game that prevents you from just just slamming and just mashing all these abilities out all at once um otherwise they'll kind of like over it, it's like it's like a metro they call it a there's a there's an add-on called combat metronome which allows you to actually to see it so that because if i press so if i press oh god that surprised me you are the one i see ah i may have to do this this is part of the main story which i'll do this in, in just a moment um Davin's Watch, so this is the beginning town for the Ebonheart Pact, uh, set in Stone Falls, which is in Morrowind, technically. I believe Vardenfell and all the ra land around it is technically Morrowind. <clears throat> so if I were to click, or if I were to hit two twice, it only did it once. So if I just kind of keep it doesn't do it, it there is like a timer it's like it, you can't do it over and over and over very quickly like as quick as you can hit the button so 
what you're supposed to do. Just as a tip for anyone who's wanting to play, especially Max, because I know he needs to do this. Um, or actually, he just needs, from what I remember, he actually needs to use his abilities. He just likes to, to light attack or heavy attack um, over and over again, not use his abilities. But you use an ability, and either just before or just after, you light attack as well. That way, you're getting the maximum damage in per time per second <laughs> damage per second dps that's hard to explain um i guess am i having a good time yes i am my voice is tired already take another drink hey lauren so i'm going to talk to this hooded figure who just popped up out of nowhere um from the ether and i think this will start the main quest Greetings. of the game my benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. The fate of Tamriel. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, mm. why send a messenger? The matter sneaky, is for sneaky. Your I wonder why they're being so sneaky, huh? Where can I the find Centrino them? The Centrino House in Davin's Watch. We're in Davin's Watch. Between Artisan's Row and the Market District. Do not tarry. I do not know what tarry means, but I can assume it means don't, don't fuck about. Get there on time. We're on a schedule. All right, so we need to go talk to the benefactor. And actually, before I do that, still more game mechanics to talk about. Champion system, I can get into this much later, but once you hit level 50 on your first character, there's a level cap of 50, but any more experience you get goes towards your champion points. Um, I think I have... How many do I have? I don't know how many I have. I should say somewhere. I don't know, I'm like level, champion level, a thousand something, just over a thousand. I, I just broke a thousand, I think, a few weeks ago. Um, but those points that you earn on any of your characters that are um, 50 or above, um, or fi at level 50, go towards this pool that can be used by any of your, not pool, but you can use those points on all of your characters. So if you, if you get to level 50... On, uh, on at least one character and just get a bunch of champion points, your new character, such as this newbie, new boy, um, will have access to these champion points that they can use to make themselves stronger, ergo, therefore making your new character stronger than a normal new character, depending on what you pick. So I'm just going to pick a couple things to make things a little easier for me. Uh, increase... Movement speed, uh, I'm going to uh, fall damage, sure. This one, the green one doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to use this one. I don't know how often we're going to be using it. Uh, sure, I want definitely want this one. I'm just going to glaze over these because I, I remember them. Uh, da, 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 da. So I got that one slotted, got that one slotted. Uh, fall damage. Why not? I can make him a very athletic boy. Um, use this one. Uh, quality of items. These are all sneaky ones on the left. This is not a sneaky character. Fall damage. Increase the amount of gold. Find treasure chests and safe boxes. Yeah, sure. And that's all of them. Okay. Confirm those. Those aren't super important. The blue one is important because that is used for damage and healing and I believe some tanking abilities as well. Uh, increase crit chance. I'm just going to skim right through these. I don't need to kind of explain all these right away. I'll talk to them about them in a later date. Uh, single target. I'll put all of these. Uh, and then area of effect. And direct damage. Damage over time. And single target. And then this is a magical character. Just thinking out loud. Bear with me. I've got 35 left. Uh, da, da, da. So I'm going to increase uh, Magicka. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, blessed. Do better healing. Confirm. Okay. So I just, imbo I just boosted all of my single target. Damage over time, damage in an area of effect, damage increased. So, of like by, let's see here, by 10% in all of those areas, I have like a bit of extra. I can do more healing, I can do, and I get more magicka. So, that alone, new character, I've had that all of that unlocked because I've been playing a lot for a long time. 
Um, I'm going to add this one. Uh, max health. I'm reduce the cost of sprint. And then I think this is the movement speed while sprinting. Health. Uh, magic first stage. So I do one, two, three. Damage shield abilities. Uh, roll dodge. Uh, and then make him a bit more tanky and much more survivable. Mm -hmm. Anything else I need in here? I don't remember. Add bar. Add to bar. Add to bar. Reduces the cost of sprint. No, not that one. Da, da, da. These are probably all fine. Um, let's see. Reduces the duration. Okay. Only have eight points left. I could just. I need another ten for this one. This seems good enough. Five there. 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 I need another five for this one. Okay, perfect. So now that's over with. Moving on. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Yes, I do. I've been he hearing you over and over and over in this game, lady. Um, let's see here. Where am I supposed to go? Here, talk to the benefactor. I need to go this way. You can see this in the in my mini map up on the top right. Top right. Is it a little red thing? I think red means main quest. They said to go to the Cedreno, uh, Cedreno house, talk to the benefactor. Is he dead? Excuse me, sir. Madam? How does the... Oh, you're bound. That can't be good. Can't be good for business. I'll go first person. Why not? Oh, no. Whatever could be happening. Oh. I got knocked out of Rut row raggy. I wonder if they shaved my head too. Took me a long five minutes to grow that mohawk. Ooh. Seems fun. This is Manamarco, for those who have played Oblivion may have heard of him. Maybe in Skyrim, too. No, not in Skyrim. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Please, Daddy, put that... Yes! <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Ah, Tamriel is gone. We are someplace else, someplace far from the world I know. Someplace wrong. I am in Cold Harbor. In the Elder Scrolls universe, there are, I'm just going to oversimplify and say two types of gods. The gods, I'm in my drawer at work. Oh, I'm on your phone. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what am I, a borrower? Um, so there are good gods and then bad gods, though that's grossly oversimplified. There are the gods who gave up their power to create the world and the ones who are like, no, fuck that. And then kind of went off and did their own thing. Those ones that went off and did their own thing are called the uh, Daedra. So I just drank a little too much beer too quickly and I need to burp real bad. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Sorry. Um, so one of the Daedric princes, one of the main head honcho Daedra, uh, his name is Molag Bal. And he went, and most of them, most of the Daedric princes went and made their own little worlds, not quite as perfect as Tamriel or as the mortal realm. Um, and his. And his plane of existence is called Cold Harbor, which is where we are now. And he's the Daedric Prince. I think of um, subjugation. Uh, subjugation. Is there like lore in here? Lore library. Oh, I, uh, no, 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 this is too much. <laughs> Let me see. What is this? Molug Ball. Lore. I'm going to look up Molug Ball. Online Molug Ball. Uh, he is the Daedric, Daedric Prince of Domination and the Enslavement of Mortals. He is the main antagonist of this, of the at least the uh, of the main quest of this game, and and as we'll find out very soon, he is trying to pull 
the immortal realm into Cold Harbor. Because reasons. So, we are in a cell, as per the... Are you all right? As per the Elder Scrolls way. This is Lyris. She's breaking us out because she's cool. And she's big. She's taller than me. I have to look up at her. Look at her. She's like a good head taller than me. Let me just check something. You know, I'm going to stay in third person for this. The Wailing Prison. Lyris. What up, girl? What you doing? Come on, Lyris. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of My weapon isn't, isn't very sharp. It's a stick. Oh. That's a Dramora. Which is a type of Daedra. A lesser Daedra. Oh my god, I don't do anything. Oh, I don't really know what happened there. That was Keep weird. Moving. There are more Daedra on the way. More of them. That's bad. Usually. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's no such thing as a good Daedra, but they're... Keep they're not the what greatest. Usually pretty bad. Like, the Daedra Prince of... Enslavement and subjugation. Alright. Charge up the fire boy. Boom. Mushroom powers. Sig Activate. They don't do any damage. This this ability just heals. Seed a large area of mushrooms in front of you, healing you and your allies for just under... Oh. You must rescue me, and I in turn must rescue you. Hold uh. a moment. Come here. We need to talk. Ooh. Birds and bees, Lyris. The prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Indeed. It's in another dimension, I guess, kind of, possibly, slash another planet. Very ambiguous. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. Mm. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Sounds lovely. The Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. I have no idea. Okay. Good force? I'm sure you do. I don't, I'm not going to ask every single question because it'll be, I'm afraid it'll be a little boring. But, so we're in Cold Harbor. Uh, the... Um, oh, hello. The prophet can get us out because reasons. Um, and we need to go free him. But he's being held special prisoner for special reasons. Ooh, Vekar the Forge Master. We meet for the first time. Wah, smack. Smack. Light attack and s smash with the, the force pulse. Well played, friend. RK's beard, you are good in a fight. That's right, because I've been playing this game for... The God of Brutality. Ten years? Knows of your no. escape. Hurry. The God of Brutality. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hmm. It's a weird looking axe. Alright. The God of Schemes can see every part. God of Schemes, too. We need to distract him. Yes. So we need to destroy. Oh, uh, you can see on the map. I need to go over here and over here. And I see some other character uh, some other players running around. Oh hey guys! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right, time to destroy some fools. Take this and this. I'm not doing my light attacks very well. And smack, boom, smack, boom. Perfect. What was your name again? Target practice. Ooh, nice one, Lyris. Try to be inconspicuous. We've just got free of this place. Last Wicked burn. Um, so I'm supposed to destroy this awful looking thing. The Eye of Sauron. Oh, that was easy. That was weird. No target came up. Boom. Huh? I'm in combat? No, I'm not. Okay. She's talking, but I can't hear her. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to run very quickly. I run a little bit faster than normal because I unlocked that passive with the champion points I was talking about earlier. 
Okay. So we need to go through here, supposedly. Oh no! Fool! You will never escape. You fool! The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Wherever will we go? Oh, we're about to meet. I think my favorite character of the game, really. Damn it! Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Cadwell. Cadwell can help us. Hell yeah. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left <laughs> Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. Yeah, so these people have had their souls taken into Cold Harbor, and they've been just slowly disintegrated over time and just become shriveled up and soul shriveled. The shriveled. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. I usually down fucking by the river. love Cadwell. And those of you who have seen many movies will recognize his voice actor as well. Love him. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. You must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? I don't know how well you guys can hear all this. I could probably up it up. A little bit. If if anyone's still listening, let me know if it's a little too quiet or if it's just great. And just let me know. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually. Full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step. <laughs> Hold your nose and do mind, do mind the traps. The traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. And where is Follow this? the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, Water. stick to the light and quote, you'll find quote. a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests. It's a hair quiet? Maidens. Okay. This might be a little too loud, even for me. <laughs> it might be a little loud for me. Uh, just a little bit down to 20. Perfect. Okay. We can hear any music that there might be. Hopefully it's not too loud. This might be a little loud. It's even too loud for my own baby ears. Slash old man ears. That's a little bit better. Okay, so follow the river, he said. Trudge through this ectoplasm that they call water. Into the secret passage. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can locked. get out of here. A locked door. How surprising. And just unlock this real quick. Ta-da! Master Thief. Got some experience for it. Uh, still, I would love the level and have some more things to use other than... Oh, hello! Skeletal Warrior. How goes it? Thanks. Da-da-da. Boom. So you see, it's just constant. I'm like, I'm basically just clicking and immediately pressing the little mouse button, which is my... Yeah, this way. Yes, I can do things. This one over here. And so I'm just clicking and basically immediately pressing one right after. So it's like, like I have nothing to target, so it's hard to explain. Uh, let's see here. So it's a little turny, a little bit windy in here, but that's fine. And then, haha, 
and then click and push and click and push and just come get some more you skeeving hawkers yeah you tell them lie rice good one boom it's weird having only one ability but then again this is a new character Something good to know about uh, heavy attacks. So if you click and hold down, or you press and hold down, whatever can whatever uh, input device thou art using, a a heavy attack takes a little bit longer to do. Obviously, does a little bit more damage, um, but also it does return some resources. So if you're running low on, I think health, um, but definitely magicka or stamina, um, that will that return some. I found a chest. It, had an iron cuirass, cuirass, cuirass. I actually don't know how to pronounce that word. Did she, did she die? I oh, know she's just standing there. What are you doing? Just getting your crotch steamed? Ow! Okay. Ah. All right. So let me change my settings. Video. Oh, camera. Here we go. I'm going to, yeah, screen shake is fine. Rotation speed may be a little higher. Field of view. I'm up into like 115. Head bob's fine. Perfect. Make it a little Skyrim-y. Uh, then again, it might give some people, <laughs> might give some, people some uh, motion sickness, but. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Now. We That's a weird-looking cage. Yeah, I'll just go like a third person. Look at my wonderful mohawk. Right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet looks unharmed. Yeah, that looks very unharmed. Now the bad news. I can hear his screaming. This is vaguely in the back. He seems unharmed, mm -hmm. screaming in background. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I gotta talk to her. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner mm. to leave is for another living soul to It has a place. little paper tube that you put both your fingers in. With the prophet. It's very tricky. She has to switch places. She has to sacrifice her sheriff. I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? Me? If Molag Ball isn't I stopped, think. he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, Even get cheese? Moving. The prophet will know where to go, but I he'll love need cheese. your eyes and your protection. Yeah, he can. He can see, but he can't. It's very weird. All right, lie rice. I'm sure it's fine. You'll feel a slight tingle. Oh, shit. I have to protect her. I forgot. No, Dramora. Boundkin. Boing. And click and push. Activate the pinion, the pine ions. Electrify your pine tree. And wait for the exchange. Hey, buddy. Freedom. Freedom. I remember this feeling. It will be fitting though. For those who may not, who do not have the ear for it. This, the voice, I believe the voice, I don't remember his name, the voice actor for the prophet. It plays the, he plays Dumbledore from Harry Potter, but not the first one because he died. And that's why they replaced him. It's obviously not him. Thank the divines, you are safe. There is that at least. There is sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Who's Lyris's voice actor? Lyris, Lyris voice actor. Jennifer Hale. It looks like a lot of a lot of more video game things that she's more known for, known for, not movies and such. Michael Gambon, yes. Thanks. Never that possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. Mm. You are but a trace yes, of your former self, a soulless one, mm. an empty vessel that longs to be filled. <laughs> It yes, is, Daddy. As the scroll <laughs> yes, foretold, Papa. but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. 
My true name is lost even to me. Likely story. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. Like we said, I can he's use trying to one pull of the world. anchors to return us to Tamriel. But you must leave. Molar Ball is trying to pull the. Uh, Mundus, I think it's called, is the mortal realm, also known as, uh, which is the world of Tamriel, so the mortal realm, Mundus. He's trying to pull it in, I don't really know why, just because he wants to enslave it, because that's, that's what he do. Alright, proof it. Up the stairs, quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Harry Potter, did you put your name into the goblet of fire? Hi, Bill, though. How you doing, baby? Get to the anchor base. This looks like an anchor. Yep, there it is up top, and it's got these anchors. Oh, Long Johnson. Defeat the child of bones. Hello. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Oh. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. Ah. So says you, Mother Trucker. Oh. I wonder if that could be the child of bones. I will protect you. Sure. I thought I, I thought I was protecting you. And click and push and click and push. And I'm out of magic. And so heavy attack, lock, boom. Talk to the holy prophet. The dark anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Seems like a handy thing to do. Unlimited skill points. So I have one sky shard so far. If I get another one. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. Yes, Papa. There, quickly. Collect the sky shard. Collecting. I'm trying to read this. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, oh. I require your strength. Let the way be open. Look at all the moots. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Bal be denied. Yes. What he said. Hurry! We must go now! But I want to read the Daedric, which I can't remember. Molog. Molog. Whatever. Okay. I... Here we go! Off into the sky. And onto an island. Perfect. Bleak Rock is an island off of... Yes. So they found me. Hello, sir. The message awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. Okay. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the mm. sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. So I was unconscious or something. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and Just space. like COVID. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry mm. land. I'm that afraid explains you will have the smell. to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath so of Merlin. we have to see your face again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. Perfect. All right, so I, still much by playing the main quest, it unlocks the soul magic um, skill line, which uh, there's like one damaging ability. It's like soul trap. And it has a couple other things which are, which are kind of useful. No one really uses them. Maybe at the beginning. And I got a free skill point. Be wary, Vestige. 
Our very plane of existence is in peril. Ooh, I leveled. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all the cameras. Ding. And chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams Where the Where should I go? You must find find my own path. path. Because it's an Perhaps MMO. Perhaps there is a reason for the place Explore. in which you find yourself. Explore. Search. Ding. Da 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 da. Okay, let's get some free stuff. Uh, gonna get some more light armor. Increase my magic. I'm gonna equip that. I'm going to probably enchant it because I have a glyph, trifling glyph of health. So it's basically something that you attach to a um, piece of equipment which basically enchants it. This is the thing that will enchant it. It's a little different from Skyrim and such. Uh, where you kind of use a soul gem. Um, to use soul gems in this game to recharge enchanted equipment. Uh, so I'm going to right click my breaches. I'm going to enchant with that health. And now it's gone. Uh, collar of bones. It's not really giving me anything better or worse. Uh, I don't need this. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, I got a new staff. Um... Weapon damage. I mean, it's, I'm such a low level, it really does not matter. Um, I'm just going to leave it here. Sealed urn. Here's some new stuff. Cool. Just a bunch of junk. Because I'm like level, what, what, four? Yeah, so I got, don't need any of this stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to, I have two skill points to use. Wall of elements. Slam your, slam your, uh, your staff. Uh, into the ground um, and do just a bunch of cool stuff. A bunch of uh, elements on the ground, depending on what sort of staff you're using. Uh, I'm using a fire staff, so I've slammed my staff on the ground. A bunch of field of fire in front of me. Love it. Uh, I'm also going to unlock, in, in lock, unlock goodness, impaling shards, which do something very similar, but just around me, but I can, I know I can upgrade it later. So now my skill bar is basically full. And here's Soul Trap, which I could use, but I'm not going to right now. Moving on. So this, I believe, is Captain Rana. Well, I, yeah. Uh, and they are the one who I believe saved me. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone Another like Dark you. Elf, just like me. A fisherman found you washed up on the beach. Ah. He brought you back to town. It's a miracle you survived. So what now? You're the one Holzgar pulled out Holzgar. of the water. Could have said his name first. I'm glad you're up. I could use your help. Uh, you just said that, okay? You've seen combat, and I need all the help I How can get How do you know today. that? You don't Villages know me. Are scattered across the island. You're not my real we need man. to warn them. Warn them? Why? We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. It could be if just a regular ship. Well, then again, they're we'll everybody's in war right now. You got to be on your toes. You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darge, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Classic fetch quest. Islands out at Orkis Hollow with his sister Rolanda. Saying, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. Right, so I could ask I could ask where all these places are, but I, I have a map for that. Oh shoot, I guess I have to. I have to ask them. Darge went to it's an old dragon shrine. It's an abandoned Thank you, friend. I'll answer what I can. How did I end up here? Captain posted to this backwater, you mean? I made a hasty decision. A bad call. Soldiers died. Oh, how did she I get here? My oh, could you tell now me about the races of the pact? Without. I'm not a scholar, but I'll tell you what I know. Uh, I can tell you this stuff. Alright, good thing to know if you're a new character. If you find a bookshelf on a character, go to it, search it. It's a lore book. You'll unlock it in your library, but it will sometimes give you a free... Um, uh, free level in your skill line not like a you you don't level up but your skill line will level up and therefore you can unlock um morphs of your abilities if you use them enough it'll unlock new abilities new passive abilities and such so i'm like level five in my green balance um level one in my animal companions because uh how do i explain this you level up your skill lines by getting experience with abilities from your skill lines on your bar so i have two destruction destruction staff skills on my bar and I got two winter's embrace um, skills and then one green balance so 
I so when I get experience, I level up my my winner's embrace and my destruction staff skill lines a little bit faster, actually twice as fast than my green balance, uh, which is fine because those are the ones I want to I want to spec in more so for this character because I want to do like I said at the beginning I want to do uh, hot ice stuff. Uh, I'm not going to steal. That would be ill-advised. Um, where does this go? I think that goes out onto a balcony, so I'm going to go downstairs. Nice place to got here. Cool stuff. Alright, Bleak Rock Isle. So, if I remember correctly, Bleak Rock Isle, little island. Um, snowy, so obviously uh, um, Skyrim. More likely than that could be Arsenium, too. Uh, so this island up here on the map, uh, that is Solstheim, which you can play in a, an expansion from the Morrowind game. Also, it's on it's one of the DLCs for Skyrim, uh, the Dragonborn uh, expansion, if I remember correctly. But here, this is a little island just off the coast of East March, uh, which is where oh my god, lots of stuff on the map. Where Windhelm from Skyrim, if those have, for those who have played it, so Skyrim's right here. You can visit parts of it, but not all of it yet. Um, you know, Western Skyrim, the Reach, the Rift, East March, and so on. There's a little island here called Bleak Rock. Okay, where am I? I'm right here. So, Bleak Rock Village. I need to go and find Sane and a few other people. Just three people. Don't really know why. I don't need to find more because classic fetch quest. So, if I go that way, there's also Sky Shard and there's more to the quest in that direction. So let's head that way. Going north. I don't have any more skill points to use. And now we play the running game. If I kill livestock owned by a citizen, and it's a crime, and they see it, you're in big trouble, just like Skyrim. If you knock, if you knock up, knock up. If you knock up someone's chicken. <laughs> If you knock about someone's chicken in Skyrim or Zelda, no, no, not Zelda. Zelda, they, the chickens attack you back. This is a guild trader. If you're in a guild, you can pay gold to have a trader, and basically that's the whole player-to-player -player, uh, trading system. You can sell stuff, buy stuff that other ca uh, characters get, such as like uh, motifs and other stuff like that. Sergeant Sane, sign. Watch yourself. There are bandits about. Bandits. Bandits, That's you say? Refreshing. Most days it's just Rana and me against the world. And I. We have some work to do. Mm. That cursed ship is the least of our worries. Bandits are plundering the mine looking for artifacts. Not that. Anything but They're that. They're alert. Looking for something. Had to kill the one behind me before he warned the others. How can I help? How are you at subterfuge? I'll stay here and keep an eye on these It's been bandits. a long time since chemistry class. Take the uniform from our friend here. Then get down into the mine shacks and see what's going on. Sure. Grab some gear from our friend here. His kit will help you slip into the mine unnoticed. Mm. Alright. Frost Edge Brigand. So I need to disguise myself. That's my crafting bag. Alright. Equipped. Now I look like a brigand. Perfect. Um, something I, else I need to do. I need to access my bank. I have something called an assistant. Where are you? Allies, assistance, Izabi. You can buy ass assistance in the store, and you can access your bank. You can access a merchant. Uh, I think there's a few others that do a few other things. And then there's also companions, which are also kind of uh, allies, whatever. Who are just an NPC that will follow you around and kind of help you out, either as a tank or a healer, do damage with you, or a mixture of those things. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I have not grabbed them on this character. Um, companions, yeah. Bastion and Miri. I have to go get them. I'll probably do that off stream. Uh, so let me talk to Izabi. She is a type of Khajiit. She's not technically a cat. She looks like a cat, but she's not a cat. Um, Khajiit are a race in this game, and depending on the phase of the moon, determines what they look like. So a certain type of phase of the moon, they'll come out looking like this. And then when they're smaller like this, they sound funny and they look like cats, but they're people, sort of. Well, not sort of, they are people, they just look like cats. Um, 
and but they tend to be much more intelligent and kind of better at magic when they're like this. Uh, I'm just looking for something in my bank that will... What am I looking for? Yeah, Gold Coast Experience Scroll. I'm going to boost my experience because this is a newbie character and I knew I had that in my bank. Uh, I'll keep... Actually, I'm going to bring up Fizez. Thursday crew know who Fizez is. He's a merchant. You can sell stuff. Yeah. Don't need any of these things. Or that. They don't cost anything. I'm going to deposit that into my bank for my main crafting character to deconstruct and get materials for. Okay. All right. See, they went from red to yellow. And it says I'm hidden like I'm sneaking because I am disguised. <laughs> Become another person. Become another person. Why are you? Oh, your disguise will not work against certain enemies. That I was not aware of. That must be new. Don't find me. No. Shit. I've been foiled. Ice fire. Perfect. Might as well just destroy them. I don't really care. It's more just teaching you about the mechanics of the game and also... Oh man, it's dark. Um, teach about the game and also when you're a new character, not you're pretty squishy. Easy to get dead. Alright, I'm gonna hit with a heavy attack and fire and ice and hit them with the pulse. Boom. Same thing. Ice. Block. Smack. Bingo, bango. Bob's your uncle. So these, I, th I believe I'm getting artifacts, and I don't really know why. Investigate. I'm just investigating. This is me investigating. Murdulating brigands. Murdulating. Oh, oh, people. Uh-oh. People. So this uh, ice on the ground, I believe, does damage over time. It should. Conjure icy shards around you to skewer enemies in the area, doing frost damage every second for 12 seconds. Enemies who are hit are overcome with bitter cold, reducing their movement speed by 30%. And damage done is based on your max health. So this skill is more used for a tank character, because when you're a tank, generally you have a lot of health. And you can use it to kind of slow enemies around you, which help all the people who are with you uh, when you're in a group. Um, but I know... And when if I, if I have it on my skill bar long enough and I level up enough, uh, I will level up the skill. And then when I have enough, I have a skill point. And if I'm leveled up enough in the skill line as a whole, um, I can morph it. Which we, I will show you whenever that happens. So note that. Oh shit! Scared me. Um. Sometimes around around an enemy. They'll have these yellow lines around them as they start telegraphing that they're going to hit. Just let them hit. Hit me, damn it. No heavy attack. Okay, so when that happens, you got to block because they're basically doing a heavy attack, which will knock you down. It'll knock you out. That was a rune stone I just picked up, and that's used for gathering. You're lost. Oh. But I'm cold, sir. I need to put my disguise back on. I became another person. Get lost. But I'm cold. The boss wants me to check on the relics we already I'm found. Inside. We've almost made it past the scamps. Oh shit. I heard them say the portal is just beyond. Scamps? There's Daedra in here. A scamp is a type of Daedra. Kinda weak and a little little annoying. Hey! Who are you? Please don't hurt me. Too Guns. bad. Intruder! And he got cooked. Good job. You won the Darwin Award. You did it. Can't go this way. I have to go this way. Hey, guys. I'm just going to murder late. Ice and fire. Oh, see those yellow lines that kind of sparked around him? Like little sparks. Ooh, I leveled. Perfect. That means he was doing a heavy attack. So when you heavy attack, you got block. Block, block, block. Blocky block. 
Fungal growth can now be morphed. I don't care. I'm not going to really use it very much. Hit, hit, light attack, and pulse. Perfect. Claim my level 5. More magic. Mit. The more, if you are a magic damage dealer, you use spells and a staff. It's a little more complicated nowadays. Um, ooh, that's useful. Uh, the more magic... Or the more magicka you have, generally the more damage you do as well. With your magic dealing abilities. Things have become much more complicated in that realm. Like what gives you more damage and the like. Um, uh, I won't get into it. Uh, so now I just, at level 5, you unlock your racial skill line. So since I'm a dark elf, I have dark elf skills. Which are just passives. Uh, so right now I have better, uh, better experience gain with dual wield. Um, and evidently I take less damage than la from lava, which I did not really know that. Uh, I can increase my maximum magicka and max stamina. I don't really have a problem with that right now. I'd rather focus on my abilities. Uh, frost cloak, destruction staff. Let's see here. What do I want to use? Frost cloak, uh, increases radius, reduces cost, grants minor protection for you... Ice Fortress. This one's not very useful. Increases, increases the radius, reduces cost. Not really useful at all. Minor protection is pretty good. Reduces your uh, damage taken by 5% for 20 seconds to 22 seconds. I'm just going to do... I know I could have just ran past them. I not bothered. I saw someone run past. There's another, another person. Come another person. I probably should have leveled up the pulse. That's fine. Yes, Ice Boy to the rescue. And by rescue, I mean kill a bunch of random criminals. Which I don't know what crime they've committed. Murder? Wait, did I walk past a... I did. I walked past a skill... Past the skill shard, you can see on my map right there, that little black little crystal looking thing. How the crap did I miss that? Or did I? Hmm. Oh, it's over there. What? That's confusing. I bet you it's somewhere else in here and this is kind of bugged out. Add ons are weird, I should have updated it. Oh well, moving on. Run! Run forward. Show us the meaning of haste. And that person really moved. I'm not fucking anybody. Unless I'm just seeing things. Come hither. Strike me down if you dare. Oh. Oh, I got stunned. Uh huh. And dodge. And up. I got stunned. I got stunned by a heavy attack because I did not block it. I think sometimes they knock you down. No, they, it stuns you, and then I think if you get hit again, it will knock you down. They're never going to keep me down. Come hither, you two. Try me. If you dare. What, what's, what's this guy's name again? Merostrathen. Scourge of the basement bookshelf freeze skill increase i don't know what i got i don't think i got anything i think it's just kind of a chance now it looks to be i look to be in some sort of nordic tomb and now we are ah i see someone in zone chat in the bottom left it's all in french what's it say guild haven is a new guild um Quebecois, we're looking for members who are who want to progress in PVE content. If you wish to form a group for your trifecta, uh, your dungeon trifecta, and do trials, Haven will be the place for you. You can blah blah blah. I'm not going to read the thing, but I just like it's, I don't get to use my French very often. Perfect time in midstream. Midstream and trying to play a video game. Uh, uh, 
da, da, da. Oh. Come, Fazez. Talking child. I think I thought I saw a scamp running over here. Where'd he go? Oh, there's a bookshelf right here. Another bookshelf. Got more dual wield, which is fine. I'm not going to use dual wield on this character. Alright, I guess I'm going to Oblivion again. I probably will take a break here in just a moment because I have to utilize the facilities. Ah, there's that other person I saw. Here we go. Destroy the unspeakable sigil. So we're in Oblivion, I guess. I'm not sure where. Oblivion, I believe, is... How do I explain? Um, so like I said, with Moloch Ball had his own, his own realm. Oh. Um, all the other pr Daedric princes have their own realms, kind of their own worlds, uh, very themed around who they are, what they do, what they're all about. Um. Did I... Did I completely miss a Sky Shard? Maybe I did. I'm not that bothered. Hello, Sergeant. So, what did you find out? I... Oh, if I was paying attention, which I'm supposed to be paying attention, evidently these bandits were contacted by another alliance to steal a Daedric artifact. A covenant contract? On the island. I smell a distraction. Ah, yes, that a distraction ship we spotted might be the start of an invasion. We've got to get back to the village. Not the village. First, we must complete oh, the quest. Covenant cowards. What now? You found the evidence. The covenant sent these bandits, and that means trouble. Oh, so I'm finding missing I'll people. I Captain see. Rana. Boom. Ding. Another level up. Perfecto. I'm uh, going to... Let's see here. I'm going to upgrade this pulse thing. Because yeah, nothing else is really that useful at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destruction staff. All right, force shock, which is my main spammable right now, which is a spammable. It's like you you put down all this stuff that does damage over time at the start, so it's doing damage while you're doing other things, obviously. Um, and your spammables are the ones you kind of fill in between while your other things are doing damage on their own over time or in an area of effect over time. Uh, and this is at the moment my spammable. It that will change in the future eventually. Uh, so I can morph it to crushing shock, which will interrupt people. And, redu and it reduces cost as it ranks up. I don't really care about interrupting. That's probably more for PvP. You want to interrupt other players who are attacking you. Uh, and then there's Force Pulse. Oh, so Force Shock. Upgrade to Force Pulse. Um, so Force Shock on its own just does da just damage with all three elements at the same time. Force Pulse will do that as well. But if, if uh, two enemies nearby are already under a status effect, so like they're burnt or chilled or poisoned something, um, they will also take damage. So it kind of does some splash damage. And so I think I do, I do a chilled, yeah. This impaling shards, these ice things. So when I go in, I throw the fire down on the ground, which will do some damage. And I think has a possibility to burn, um, to set the, give them the burning status. Like I don't know how much. Um, there's a chance to give them a burning status, and if I also throw down these impaling shards, it will it may give them the chilled status as well. So these are two status effects. So if I have anim enemies near me that have a status effect, this force pulse will do extra damage to them uh, as a splash, like kind of like an air, almost like an area of effect, kind of like chain, like chain lightning in a way, um, which is great. Um, you have 5,000 damage, which is actually just about as much as it, as it is I'm doing to the first person. So this is actually a pretty decent skill. You just need to make sure you have some sort of status effect. Um, oh, there's a, there's a sky shard. I totally missed that. Awkward. So, even though my map add-on thing was saying it was inside that little dungeon thing I was in, it's actually on the outside.
Okay. No skill point. Uh, let's see. Anything nice I can use. Um, I might save it. Let's see here. I don't really want this one. It's not very useful. I hear people fighting in the background. I might... S oh, I have two. I have two skill points. So I'm going to upgrade my fungal growth. Uh, this is... Effective targets have increased magic and stamina recovery. And this is a stamina. Huh. Which I don't want. This is a stamina-based ability. I'm not doing stamina. I'm doing magic. Um, plus, this one, Enchanted Growth, gives me... If I heal myself, I also give myself extra... It's called Minor Intellect and Minor Endurance, which means I get better magicka um, recovery and better stamina recovery so I I get I get more back essentially so sure I'll use that um, I think I will save the skill points for when because this is level 10 uh, I'll save it because I want to be able to unlock new skills and replace some of these skills I don't really want to use and with that as well I am going to take a quick break because I have to utilize the facilities and rest my my vocals uh, because I'm not used to talking all day um, so how do I do this again chat screen don't know who's in chat oh that's not working um, oh maybe that only shows up when actually someone says something so I'm going to take a quick break I'll be back in just a couple minutes I'm going to grab myself another beverage for those who are also t partaking in beverages please do so you see Pep Pep. She's sulking under the table. Hey, baby. What's wrong? You sleeping? Big baby. I'm not paying attention to her at all times of the day. She gets very upset. Because she is a COVID baby. Hmm? Yeah, spoiled. All right, I will be back in just a moment.
I'm back again. Just a quick break. Do, do, do. What did I miss? Yes, I did have a very quick break. Very nice, good break. Definitely needed to utilize facilities. Respond to my wife's texts. Um, she was freaking out a little bit earlier. Um, she didn't proofread an email that she was copying and pasting stuff over from people and kind of regrets it. Nothing, nothing. Oh, I don't think anything bad happened, but could have been a little better, but maybe it's fine. Um, poor kitten. Yeah, she's, she's a big baby. I mean, they're both big babies. I have two cats. I got Pepper and I got Willow. That was Pepper. Willow's upstairs demanding to go outside, which is kind of ironic because uh, when we had our, we, we used to have Willow and our other cat, Luna, who, oh yeah, I should do that now. Um, Luna, but she passed uh, about, I think almost two years ago, a year and a half ago uh, before we got Pepper, obviously. Um, and she was the one who demanded to go outside all the time. So obnoxious. But and then, but Willow was terrified of the outdoors. And now, the roles have changed. <laughs> now that we're no longer in the city and we're kind of uh, in a little bit of suburbia, she's very demanding to go outside all the time. Uh, of course. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely not an issue. The babies. Yeah, there are babies. Mm. Pepper's more my baby, though. Um, Willow is more my wife's cat. But that didn't used to be the case. I don't know. I think the whole thing with how Luna passed and it was, it was a very rough week and a half, two weeks. And then Willow, uh, Willow was in the, the vet hospital for a almost a week just it was it was a mess it was we still don't really know exactly what happened but ever from that she's she's a, she's a different cat so i think that and that with bringing having bring a pepper home relative probably a little too soon was but um she's a little standoffish now our little ones are going nuts right now yeah <laughs> yeah willow's definitely going nuts as i went upstairs she's like it's time it's time <laughs> it's like no i'm peeing we're going we'll go out later when i'm done streaming uh, I took out like three times yesterday, and then took out a, at least once, and then of course I almost lost her because I didn't have her on the leash, and I she went around the I thought she went around the corner and I couldn't find her. Turns out she was under a car in the parking lot. It was stupid. Oh, okay, that's good. One moment. <laughs> Just responding to a text because I'm really bad about doing that. Uh, ba -ba. Okay. Let's get back into things. <laughs> Let's do it! Alright. Uh, ba -ba I'm still streaming. Good. Game! This is the game. <laughs> For those who were... If there's anyone here who wasn't here before, I am playing Elder Scrolls Online. Started a new character. I have a lot of characters. Been playing for a long time. I am an altaholic. I'm very about creating alt uh, new characters over and over again. Each of them. Woo! Yeah, more so. Uh, all of them have their own theme. This new character's theme is uh, an ice mage that also does fire stuff. So like a frost fire mage. It's a brand new character, so it's very, very, very much under development. And nubile. Not the right word, I know, but... <laughs> um, so, I'm going to do a couple things real quick. So, there are pets in this game. There are combat pets. that, But you can only use those if you are a sorcerer. So, you summon Daedra, to do, like you do in Skyrim and such. Um, and then, I guess if you technically count it... Um, necromancers, I guess they're... Their pets could be some of the 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 uh, zombies and skeletors, uh, and I guess actually no, the wardens. Another class. I'm talking about classes for those who don't know. Um, the warden class has a bear as well, but I'm not going to do it because I'm doing ice stuff, not animal stuff. Uh, but there are also non-combat pets, and you can unlock them. You can buy them. 
Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can get them. Uh, I am going to summon my first... There we go. So our cat Luna, who I was just talking about, was a white cat. So I tend to, on my main character, I will usually bring Buna with me. So, Buna's joining us. Oh, I'll save you. Don't die. You can do it. I helped. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? All right, so I already got this Sky Shard, so I know that add-on is not the good one. So which one is it? Is it this one? That one. Perfect. I need to update my add-ons, but I will do that another time. Uh, all right, uh, go back Check the Way Shrine for missing villagers. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Okay. A dead, 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 dead. Ooh. Thieves Trove. Nice. Thieves Guild stuff. I stole, I technically stole stuff, but I really didn't at the same time. Uh, oh, screw it. I'll, I'll fight these dudes. Hey, dudes. What up? Frostfire Mage here. No big deal. Boink, boink. And then Fezzez. What's up, Fez? Alright, run back to the Way Shrine, which I believe is... Yep, uh, you can't see it on here because of the follower goal. I'll fix that another time. Oh. I'm not going to do side quests. I'm going to stick to the main quest for now. Da-da-da. Even though I could get more experience and stuff, but I'm just kind of get through. There's a lot of story, a lot of content. I don't know how often I'm going to stream. This may be the only time I stream. Probably not. I hope not. But you never know. Um, hello. Okay. Find missing... Find missing villagers. I'm here. Hmm. Is this quest bugged? Things I know where else to go. But it's weird that it doesn't tell you where to go. That's a little problematic. Let me go to my quests. I found evidence that the Daggerfall Covenant may soon be attacking Bleak Rock with the rest of the pact. We need to evacuate them as soon as possible. I must decide whether or not enough time to recover all the villagers. There is, because it's a game. Um, so the question is, do I want to go ahead and go... To, there's two other people need to find. There's one person in this cave, and there's another person in this sort of smorgasbord of stuff. Or I can evacuate early and move on to the mainland, which I'm kind of leaning for more towards. If you play this, you can go and do as much as you want. I kind of want to stick to kind of moving along with the main storylines. Sure, there's there's little thing, little interesting bits of story here and there, but I, for now, I'm going to stick with the main story. So we can go back and make it to the mainland and then continue along in our adventures in Tamriel. And meet up with the prophet again. And then find and try to get Lyris out of that prison. What? You know what? And I'd like to set up my costume do a whole bunch of stuff, but I can't do that here. I have to go to a costume station, or an outfit station, I should say. Um, hello, Captain Rana. I'll prepare the town for evacuation. Find as many people as you can and send them back Let's here. leave now. Screw those other guys. Are you sure about this? Anyone we haven't found will be left behind. Just me when I say the they're not gonna, long. they're not doing so hot. Vivek preserve us all. Vivek is an interesting character. The Covenant is They've taken the signal fire, and we need to warn the mainland. I need you to carve a path through them and light it. The beacon stands atop the tower just outside town. So we need to go light a fire to tell people I'm going to get to the, the F out. And get them ready to go. Find Chilroni when you're done at the tower. She'll hold the way open. Good luck, get that Rana. Fire lit. We'll be ready to go when you get back. I dinged again. <laughs> I'm low level, so these these levels keep coming up, coming through pretty easy. Uh, do I want any of these things? Not really. Thieves Guild. I unlocked that by finding that Thieves Guild trove. That's a DLC to unlock that whole storyline and stuff. I'm actually doing that on another character. Um, I have like a more thiefy 
a sneaky character, but who is also, a, I kind of been thinking of him as my undead knight, like a death knight sort of thing, super cool. Uh, so I've got two skill points. I could increase my magic on stamina real quick, or I could do try focus with the destruction staff equipped, fully charged heavy attacks, deal more damage. With fire staffs, at least. Uh, lightning staffs do more damage nearby, so more uh, area of effect stuff. Ice staff um, gives you damage shield. Staff Ice staff is more for tanking. So I'll get into that later. When an ice staff is equipped, blocking costs magicka instead of stamina. So you can switch between your skill bars, which I'll do at level 15. Uh, what else could I do? Increases chance of applying chilled... Uh, this will work. Increased chance of applying the chilled status effect uh, to uh, with to enemies with my ice stuff by 100%. So basically, whenever I use my impaling shards or my other uh, skills that I'll unlock later, I will apply the chilled effect, which means I can, which will do. Uh, it, I forget exactly what chilled does, but um. Oh, enemies, enemies, and allies who have recently recently been chilled take 5% more critical damage and healing from you. So basically, I do more damage to them if I chill them. So that's a passive ability. That's always active. It's not a, It's not something I, I use. It's just there. Um, okay. Lake Rock Isle. I need to go light the, light the fires. The beacons have been lit. I think there's, I think it's this way. It's over there. Oh yeah, that tower off in the distance. Perfect. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba -da. And I believe when I leave, shit hits the fan. And there's a Nordic tomb there. Um, so I really like Dark Elf Lord, just probably because it was the first one I got int uh, introduced in by playing Morrowind back in junior high. I mentioned Vivek as a cool character before. Oh, here's a dead body. Classic. Um... Vivek, Amalexia, and Sothasil are the three quote-unquote gods of the Dark Elves. Um, they used to, uh, they used to worship the Daedra, the one, the, the sort of, not quite, they, they, some of them are evil, they're not exactly good either, but the gods or the deities who decided not to give up their powers to create the mortal realm, mortal plane of existence, which we are currently, um, and they went off and did their own thing because they're selfish. Or other reasons as well. It's There's a, each one of them has their own complicated story. Uh, the Dark Elves used to worship some of the good ones. Um, one of which, her name is Azura. And way back in the day, a long time ago, um, there was a war between what the the Dunmer slash Dark Elves used to be called the Kymer. They were, they had like light kind of golden skin. They were a subsect of like kind of high elves, another type of elf with golden skin, Altmer. Um, and I believe, if I remember correctly, they were followers of a, of a, um, I'm, I'm mixing storylines of, of races, but they, they were had their like different houses and stuff and they went and they occupied where we are now um, in Morrowind and Vardenfell and such. They left all the way from here and went all the way around up there and they claimed this area and they were worshipping the the Daedra and the and the like. But there is another race of elves called the Deep Elves, um, also known as the Dwemer, also known as the Dwarves, even though they're not anything like dwarves of other fantasy series such as um, Lord of the Rings um, oh I hear battle perfect so they were in a war with them I don't too know many. why there were just too many of but them but the beacons have been lit Tilrani what happened the covenant is here they set fire call to master the chief Narald and I tried to protect the Earth Turner family and the rest of the farmers. Well, where are they? Denska headed to the bunkhouse. Mm. Ira tried to take shelter in my home. Then the soldiers set fires, laughing. That's what soldiers do. Please, you have to get water. Shame. Save our people. 
troops. They troops. caught up to me. You okay. can't. Save the village. They're being attacked. Uh, so anyway, there was a war between the Chimer and the Dwarves, Dwemer, Dun uh, Dwemer, Deep Elves, whatever. Um, for, and I don't really know the reasons. Uh, and there was a big battle. I'm trying to remember some of this. Uh, there was a there. There were some heroes, like the main head honchos or the generals of the Chimer, and their names were Nerevar, Vivek, Sothasil, and Amalexia. And there was a big battle on top of the volcano uh, on Vardenfell. And truth has it that Nerevar... Oh, jeez, I'm trying to remember this stuff. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to remember this sort of lore stuff while also multitasking and playing video games. Soldiers chase me in here. I thought I might burn them. Well, get to the make... tomb where then you can be laid to rest. Um, so... I think if I remember correctly, there was a war. Oh man, I'm I'm struggling to remember the finer details. There was actually another guy. I think his name was Dag Dagoth Ur, and he found something he really shouldn't have in the mountain, which was a piece of a god, the one of the the, the head honcho who does who kind of led the, the creation of the world. And he. Don't look. I'm looking at things. I'm looking all at all of your stuff. I'm looking at your underwear. Don't judge me. How about your books? You have useful books? No. Um. So this Dagothar guy, he found like a heart or whatever, the heart of um, heart of something. And he was getting like kind of divine power from it. And I think at the same time there was this war between the Chimer and. I think Dagother was technically a Chimer as well. Help it. I ran. I'm... It's okay. Get to the tomb. Um, and hello, fellow player. Uh, so Nerevar and Amalexia saw the sill, and Vivek went to confront him and stop him because it was a big bad thing to do, and he was becoming powerful and taking over a bunch of stuff. And when they got there, Nerevar stopped him. But then the other three decided this is also purely conjecture based on lore because there's no actually definite thing what happened. This is just what I believe what everybody thinks happened. Uh, they betrayed Nerevar, killed him. I think Nerevar and Amalexia were like married or engaged. Um, hello, f another person. Hirani told us to run. run to the tomb, the tomb. Um, they betrayed him, and then they took that god power for themselves, and then they used that power to win the war. I think Nerevar was like, we should just destroy it and win the war on our own. Um, um, and so, by doing so, they pissed off. Welcome back. The oh. villagers you rallied are ready to move. All right, I so we need to escape through this you tomb. To lead the way through the back tomb. to the mainland. Let's go. Uh, so, in doing so, by betraying Nerevar and taking, um, and or taking this god power for themselves, um, they pissed off the god Azura. We need to hit them at the same time. Okay, we need to disable traps. Um, and so, since Azura was pissed off, it's like, since you've done this, I'm going to, I'm going to curse the Chimer, and then Gosh, thus became through. the Dunmer. The Dark Elves, and they got ash skin from the ash wastelands, and their burning red eyes. Um, and that's the story of that. So, but now the Dwemer, they are the Dunmer, the Dark Elves, they worship these three new gods. The, uh, I think they call them Almsivi, so Almalexia, Sothasil, and Vivek. And they are interesting characters, and you meet all of them in this so game. So many dead because of me. Yes. I don't know if I'll be able to live with myself after this. You shouldn't. No, don't say that. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> they, need they need a leader. They're stuck with you. They're sure. With I need you to unlock a door deeper inside the tomb. Why? That door will have stones with flower symbols upon it. Aw. Head through the door behind me. I'll see. Okay, so we need to unlock another door. She um, conveniently didn't say why. 
or I wasn't paying attention. The latter is prob much more probable. Um, I think there's probably some undead in here, some Skeletors. Hello? Hello? Boom. Light armor increased, because I'm wearing light armor. Alright, moving on. And... Skeletor. Boom. Sam Vivek is an interesting character. I believe they call him the Warrior Poet. And he lives here on Vardenfell, and there's a capital city called Vivek City, and he's got this cool little, little, a cool, like, a uh, temple pyramid sort of thing, and he's up at the top, and he's like, oh, everything's cool, even though I did a lot of bad things, supposedly. And Amalexia, I believe, is in Mornhold, the capital of Marwind, and capital of the Ebonheart Pact, which is the... As I've said before, the alliance of Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves. Right, can I not go this way? It's this way. I think I need to go this way first. Um, so she's there, and Sothisil... So I think she was a warrior of some sort. Um, Captain! Captain Raina. Rana. Rana. Uh, she's much more demagogic, I think. And kind of like appealing to the people, cares more about the people too. Um, but she's kind of vain and a little cray cray. She goes cray cray later. Out. I'll unlock the door at the bottom of the stairs. In the next room, there's another. Okay, door. let's do it. Um, and then Sotha Sill, he's a, he's like kind of like a keeps to himself, interesting like intellectual. Um, he made this really interesting city called Clockwork City. He's a very smart and a very powerful magician. He's pretty cool. Uh, claim some stuff. Claim and spend on magicka. I'm just covered in ice because I'm cool. <laughs> cool. And they're fighting. Those are the people. Those are people that we supposedly saved. And let's go unlock the switch of destiny. Boom. The switch of destiny. Go. I'll meet you on the other side of that door. Okay. Only if you promise. Flames and ice and fire and cold. Okay, Captain Reyna. Teleporter. Okay, I don't need you around, Fez, sorry. I can't keep accidentally talking to you. Ideally, I would have um, either Bastion or Miri, but I need to go unlock them, and they can just do some more damage Coach, with me and just. Just beyond this door, I'll go on ahead. Wait for the rest of them here. Um, the game is pretty easy. Like, like um, the game itself, just overland content, which means like non dungeons and like 20, 24 people or twelve people dungeons and such. Um, like just doing questing and stuff. It's actually pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, a lot of people actually complain that it's a little too easy, so you don't really need a companion, but it can help in some cases. I mean, that was weird. Sure, I guess I'd just sit and wait. All right, let's leave this island. Now I'll play for just a little longer, another 15 minutes or so. Fate hates me. They're all sad. Their home just got attacked by the Aldmeri Dominion. But don't feel bad because I'm sure in another alt in the Evanhart in uh, what's it called? In one of the other alliances, if you start there, I'm sure the Evanhart Evanhar Pact is doing stuff too. Sure, Thus is war. Will get us to safety. He's a hero of the pact. And for what I've promised to pay him. What's a shield back? Oh him. It's an Argonian. Argonians are so cool. So cool. V? Yeah, V. Okay. Our shellback friend here will get us to Where are we headed? The Covenant would intercept us if we went straight for Darwin's Watch. So we're going to make for Dalmora, a small town down the coast. Are you ready to go? That doesn't make any sense. So we're north. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. That doesn't make any sense. So we were just... So we're down here. We're in this little 
We're in this little bit of land called Balfoy, and just east of Stone Falls. Um, we're still in Morrowind. Uh, I think technically we were in Skyrim before, or at least nearby. So we were up here in the north, and they said if we were to go straight to Stone Falls, or Davin's Watch, sorry, this city here in the east part of Davin's, uh, of Stone Falls, so right here. They said if we were to go from here to there, we would be intercepted. But instead we passed it and went further. That doesn't make any sense. So maybe we went around. Who knows? Uh, so now we are here. We are clear. And we are near. <laughs> We're here. We are here. The village is safe said. for the moment. But the covenant's still coming. We've got to get word to Darwin's watch. I'm sure they're already keenly aware. We sprint. If we act quickly, we might be able to alert Darwin's watch before the covenant ships arrive. Still doesn't make sense to me. Go to the watchtower. Just past the village of Dalmora. Hi, Pep Pep. Tell the soldiers yeah, there I know. to light the signal fire. I'm just going to be playing just a little longer, baby. The fires will warn Darvin's watch that war is upon them. I'm going the to beacons are lit. Here and in Dalmora. Get the battle ready mustered. Send the non combatants mustard. to safety with Darvin. What Darf. about ketchup? Now hurry. Both the are fate good. of Darvin's watch depends on you. I'm on my way. Get to the watchtower as soon as you can. Okay. Ooh. I can now purchase an ultimate. Ah, ultimate abilities. So, um, ooh, I have two skill points. I can buy this and upgrade this. Perfect. So, it's an ultimate ability, just like if you've ever played uh, uh, Overwatch, as an example. And I'm sure there are other games that do this as well. Um, they kind of charge up over time, and it's just like one big, good, big attack or big, really helpful ability. Um, there's a bunch of different types. Usually, uh, all of your skill line, most skill lines will have an ultimate ability. So, my animal ultimate is having this feral guardian, which is the bear. So, I can summon a, a bear to fight with me. It's super cool. Green balance does this like cool, like ghost forest, which heals really, really well. And then, sleet storm, I summon like this blizzard around me. It's so cool. One of my favorite ones. Uh, then, I have a uh, destruction staff as like an elemental storm and. Even like your armor skill lines have it. Soul magic has a, which I mentioned earlier, which you unlock more by playing the main quest, the main story. Um, soul strike is just like doing like this kamehameha beam kind of thing. It's super cool. And um, some other ones don't have um, ultimate abilities like uh, like racial skills don't, or um, some of the guild ones like thieves guild doesn't. Uh, Black uh, dark brotherhood doesn't but mages guild does which is really good the fighters guild one is really good crafting ones don't for reasons um all of the weapons do anyway so that's me rambling uh so i'm going to unlock my sleet storm ultimate and there it is at the bottom they have a res so ultimate abilities require special resources resource called ultimate real, real uh real creative there you gain you gain ultimate by engaging in combat and once you have enough you can spend it on the ability uh, there are different things, different armor set, uh, item sets or items or other abilities that get you more ultimate or more quickly. And there are some builds that really kind of like engage in trying to get as much ultimate as possible and use it over and over and over and over again. Um, but there's bouncing everything and you use it by that. And then it'll glow when it's ready to use. And I'm also going to um, upgrade my impaling shards. So there's gripping shards which are the exact same thing i'm doing so i like I just do this and like the icicles shoot out um around me and there's an upgrade to that which will immobilize enemies around me which is a kind of okay but it's better for a tank to root enemies in place so people in your party can attack them so you kind of like control them make them slow root them in place bring them towards you make them attack you and then the healer will heal people and all the damage dealers in a group will do damage to other people while they're distracted or rooted in place, frozen, whatever. Um, so that's a tank ability. That's a great ability for a tank. Um, but instead, I'm going to upgrade it to this one, which allows me to do this ability at a location, uh, a range, uh, like a, it's a ranged ability, and then deals damage based on my magic instead of my health. So this is much more geared for my Ice Mage build. So if I do that, and I press one, and I can see this little yellow circle, and whoop, Ice and fire. Wonderful. And mushrooms. Um, classic. 
Boom, here we go. So now I must go this way. Here's a guard. Where am I going? I already forgot. I'm going to warn people. Ooh, there's a sky shirt over here. More sky shards, please. Uh, I don't need that. I'm going to turn this off. These are safe boxes, which you can steal from, but they're like usually right. Yeah, you can steal from them. They're locked and they're usually right by merchants. Got good stuff in it usually, but uh, they're harder to get into because people are usually looking in that direction. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off from my map. It's an add-on that's not in the base game. I just have it uh, because cheating. Not really cheating, just making things more simple. Some people see it as cheating though, which I get. Um, justice containers turned off. Okay, so I should not see that anymore. Alright, let me get this sky shard. And ideally, I'd like to get the Davin's watch and set up my costume and then probably call it there. Sky shard. Okay, so where am I going? Not here, evidently. I need to go over here. Get to the Dalmora watchtower. Which is this way. I think. Am I going the right way? Go out of this path. Up there. Perfect. Ideally, I'd like to just kind of breeze right through this and get to the... Kind of like the more main starter town, which I can go to my outfit station, set up my outfit for this character, and call the stream there. But I don't really know how long it's going to take me to get through all this here. Oh, there's Sergeant Durin is dead. And there's another thieves killed thing right here. Perfect. Mine. And then a book. A ledger. Uh, something happened, I don't know. I think it's for lighting the signal fire or something like that. So I need to go get stuff for that. I don't see... Oh, I'm supposed to go over here to the south. This little purple. That means a door. So the quest means I need to go through the door over here. And there's a sky shard over there too. So here I go. There are mounts in this game as well. Um, you can upgrade your mounts per character. You go to like a stable and like once per day you can increase your your speed or your endurance on your mount. Um, I have not seen a stable master thus far, but based stupidly enough with new characters, if you have a lot of champion points and spend your champion points to move a little faster, I actually m move faster sprinting and running. Oh, I don't... Uh, as opposed to if I were to equip one of my mounts. I have a bunch of mounts. Not, not, a, not a lot. But uh, let's see here. I have an ice character. But I like lore stuff. So dun dark elves. Well, normally I would assume ride. Um, ride uh, guar or kagoodies. Uh, maybe these war steeds as well, but I'm gonna ride a Kaguti because they're super cool. I actually don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. These are so cool. Hell yeah. But slow ish. Oh, what? Oh, because I found a place. <laughs> Hello? I've come for the party. I made it. I'm here, Dad. Uh, let's hear Inferno Staff. More magic. Equip my new staff. Um, I don't need this. My inventory space is running a little low. Uh, I'm going to sell some stuff real quickly. Quick slots. I'm going to quick slot Izabi and Fazez, my banker and my merchant. Uh, do I have any other slottable stuff? Not really anything super useful. Okay. So let me bring up Izabi. Um, actually, no, Fazez first. I'm going to sell some stuff. Sell these white items. They're low quality. Don't really need them. Can't really deconstruct them for anything really all that useful. I have this I need to open up. Uh, 
back to this. I don't need this disguise anymore. I don't need that. That's a quest starter. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Health rings. I'll take those. Take all. Equipped my new rings I got from just leveling up and it granted me new stuff. And let me deposit these green items for my crafter to deconstruct for materials. Okay. Freed up a bunch of space. And uh, dismiss his obby. Okay, moving back. Back into the swing of things. Hello. I'm here. How goes it? Quartermaster Irona. Need a blade? No, I need a staff. Not. I don't have any to spare. Ah, oh, well shit. I'm fresh out. Bit of an accident in the storeroom with a lantern, I'm afraid. Well, that sounds dangerous. Suddenly, no more Kindle pitch. Well, where can I find more Kindle pitch? Check the dockyards. Lenim just offloaded a fresh supply. Who's that? When you see her, warn her about the attack. She's such a fragile lizard. Don't want her going to pieces. Tinks. All right. Uh, let's see here. So I need to... Here is the... Um, way shrine, so I can teleport here later or away from here. Which, you know what? I might just do that. Uh, get the sky shard real quick. So, what I'm going to do, instead of just finishing this zone, I can finish this zone on another stream because it's getting. I've been streaming for almost two and a half hours, but it very much does not feel like it. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, I'm going to teleport back to Devon's watch and I'm going to set up my outfit for this character. And then that outfit will stay the same. I will show you. It's cool stuff. It's fun stuff. And I think I need some gold, too. Actually, while I'm, while I'm at it as well, I am going to... Love this music. You there. How would you like to do something worthwhile? I already am. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm busy? See, this person looks cool. And they're wolf, too. Uh, let's see here. Stable Master. Hello, Lorella. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm going to increase my speed by 1% and I have to wait another 20 hours to upgrade. Upgrading your mount takes time, it costs money, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Worth it in the end, but still annoying. We need an edge in this fight. Something I'm also going to do real quick is join the Mages Guild. Because if you see on the map, and maybe right here, see these glowing books? Oh, cool. They got a Death Hound. That's super cool. And a regular hound. Weird how they're just sitting right next to each other. And then there's a rabbit, and then my cat. It's a party. These glowing books, um, when you find them in the world, they level younger, up your Mages Guild I skills. To be a mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I remember correctly, I believe the Mage's Guild is over here. So here, this symbol right here, this kind of arcane symbol, is Mage's Guild, which is this building right here. I'm just going to join it real quick. There's a whole Mage's Guild skill uh, quest line. I'll get into that later. Um, involves Sheol Gorath, another Dajic Prince. I never knew that about Mitch. He's the Dajic Prince of Madness. Time time it's super cool. There you are. Second Try favorite character. Honor to you, Sarah. Welcome to the Mages Guild Hall. Don't know what that means. It's like a nickname, that our Sarah. Here in the temple is unconventional, but I'm afraid that our former hall was raised just recently. One does what hmm. one must. Yes. Yes. Have you come seeking membership? I do. Yes, of course. We're all Let's keepers. talk about it. What can you tell me about it? What I can return? I'm ready to join. Excellent. Complete. Well Boom. All right. And it's easy as that. Now I have the Mages Guild, and I have the Mages Guild skill skill line. Which has all this fun stuff, including the, their ultimate, called Meteor, which is probably one of the more powerful. I don't know if it's the most powerful. I mean, all all, all abilities, all ultimates have their own uses and their own situations, but Comet is pretty, is pretty good. That's a pretty cool mount. I think I have that mount. I'm not quite, I think I do. Alright, so now that I have the Mage's Guild skill, I'm going to go back over here, which is actually, this symbol here is the... Outfit station. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm going to read this book. And I see lore book discovered, and down here in the bottom right, Mage's Guild got five 
towards my skill, and so that raised up a little bit. So there's, it's a bit of a grind to get your Mage of Skill skill line up, but it's very worth it in the end. There's a couple other pretty useful skills in here too. Entropy, Fire Rune. I don't know about this one. I think it's used for tanking. Um, anyway, so Outfit Station. Let's set up... Set up what I look like. Um, I do not have three things equipped, so I need to kind of... Uh, da 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 da. Um, let me. I think I may have some money in my. Let's draw currency. Ooh, I have that much. I'm just going to get thirty thousand gold out because I'm a rich boy. Um. I need to. All right, so there's a clother over here. I'm going to get some. Get some light armor. Uh, one of these people that is a guild trader carpenter alchemist over here maybe banker blacksmith where is the clother here we go we ten we oh this is for actually making clothing I need a an armor person someone who sells armor over this way Go this way. Look at all these people running around. There's that bear I told you about. And my voice is getting pretty tired. These streamers have it hard. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Merchant. That's not it. They just sell stuff. Leather worker. Tailor. This is who I need. I need a hat. And I need shoulder and a belt. So here's shoulders. I have pants already. I need a hat. And I need a belt. So now I have all these things on. So now I'm fully geared up. But I look kind of weird. And my peas are making... Uh, I look a little weird. So I'm wearing a bunch of like a smorgasbord of stuff. And each of them has their own style. Like, I'm wearing an Argonian hat. I have iron... I think I have, like, dark elf iron gauntlets on. I think I'm wearing a high elf uh, jerkin and the boots or something. So, what I'm going to do is go to the outfit station. And there's a whole outfit system, which everybody loves. It's the end game. Fashion is the end game. <laughs> Fashion and housing. You can have your own house. And there's so much to know about this game. Boom. Let's make a costume real quick. This will be the last thing I do before I sign off. Uh, let's see here. So what do I want to look like? I want to look like a mage. Um, and like I said, I'm big on lore. I love dark elf stuff. I want to look like a dark elf kind of mage soldier. I want to be a, a, like a frostfire, but I don't want to go like all ice looking stuff. That's I'm, that's I'm, I want to be like what what would a what would a classic, like, soldier battle mage look like in in this universe who's like a dark elf? So I'm going to look at dark elf stuff. Um, there's all these, like, motifs. I have, a, I have some stuff I still haven't unlocked. There's a whole system on doing this. Um, so I am going to focus on looking more... I think it's called... Oh, the helmet. It's cool stuff. I love this. Um, how about Redoran? Oh, I don't have my Redoran hat. Uh, Telvani. These are the different houses of, of Marwind. This is House Telvani. This is their stuff. Looks kind of cool. Super cool. Uh, but I'm going to stick to Halalu. Kind of do that kind of magey look. Hell yeah, look at this stuff. It looks super cool. Hi, Pep Pep. Yes, I know. I know. Um. Uh, what about Redoran? What does Redoran look like? Uh, Jerkin, not really magey enough for me. Telvani. Always very interesting looking. So cool, but it doesn't match the Halalu look. Like that weird kind of like white. Um. Oh, I do not have... Oh, I spelled it wrong. Hilalu. Is that... 
Um, I could do a full robe. It looks a little stuffy. Uh, let's look at legs. Uh, hands, uh, gloves. I kind of want more bracers. Looks a little heavier on the there. Shoulders. A lot of loop pauldrons are always super cool. Oh yeah, look at that. These look kind of cool too. But yeah, I like the heavy look. Like battle mage, a mix of armor, a mix of uh, kind of like cloth and robes and stuff. Uh, uh, feet, the uh, sabatons. And then I want for legs, I'm probably not going to do Hulalu. I'm going to stick to something that's got a bit of cloth on it. That looks kind of cool. There might be a little bit of clipping though. A skirt. Dark Brotherhood breaches. That looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh, da, 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 how about Apostle? No. <laughs> Huntsman? I mean, that could work a little bit. Trinomac. Ah, Trinomac could work really well. I like that a lot. Like a mix of like a robe and armor at once. And it's got kind of some frilliness, which kind of matches. I'm going for Dark Brotherhood has a lot more of this stuff like this. Um, Divine Prosecution. Oop, that clipping looks real bad. Pyandanean. Ooh, that the works actually a, a little bit better. Blacksmith. His daggers are sharp enough to cut the air. I don't know who's talking he to certainly me. Has female admirers. Don't talk to me. Wonder why he never oh, no, the clipping sucks. The Dang it. Lord of the Hour. Nah. Pyandanean. Such a quarter. Such a quarter could be good, but I think the looks wife. really good. Actually, it matches that really wings? well. He takes flowers to the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I see some clipping. Silken ring that could work really well too. That's a bit too heavy, and this clipping. That's what you get if you just kind of start mixing stuff together that wasn't really designed to mixed together. This could work. And it's Telvani. Uh, I like it, but I don't. This could work really well. Even just this outfit on its own just looks super cool. Uh, but I like the Pyandanean as well. i switch back to the medium Pyandanean. Is there clipping? I mean, there's a little, but the fabric matches. But I can change the colors. Uh, weapon style, I'm gonna go with a really cool staff. Ice staff. Um, or I could go fire staffy kind of look. These are like the more rare up here at the bottom. Waking flame, Grundwolf. I, I kind of have to do ice, don't I? I'm doing a nice character who's doing a bunch of fire stuff, so. Uh, when I get, when you hit level 15, you can switch between, you have like a back bar and a front bar, you can switch between them. Um, what are you doing? She's being weird. Um, so I can have like a fire looking thing on the back or an ice thing on the back and like a fire thing on the front. But the ice looks super cool right here. So I'm going to stick with the ice there. Um, all right. So that's that. Super simple. Well, not super simple, but relatively simple. Oh, shoot. There's clipping. No, there's clipping. Not the clipping. Anything with that. Please. Oh. Trinomac. Oh, there's clipping there, too. What have I done? Clipping. Well, shit. Uh, so I may have to switch to different boots, because those things... Look at the kneecaps on those suckers. Oh, no. Everything is the matter. What do you know about the Dark Elf Ashlanders? A lot. What do you want to know? Not much. Oh. They keep to themselves. I think Ancient they worship uh, Daedra. I heard they, they don't do. live in towns because the dark elf houses hate them. I like just how they're just casually us, like trying to introduce some lore in the background here. Gods of uh, man, that's really disappointing. I may have to switch to the boots, but the boots are cool. All right, what, what other what else we got? How about Talvani boots? Tavani? Oh. Doesn't match with the rest of this aesthetic, though. 
better. And they all have that kind of kneecap problem. But this one has less of a kneecap problem. So maybe one of the ones I already picked. Let's go back down. Uh, Pyandanean. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. Let me put my staff away. No clipping. And it still fits that kind of a um, like shell aesthetic. It's bone mold, so they make their armor out of like ground up bone and resin and stuff. Um, oh, I need to do a belt as well. I didn't even think about that. Uh, uh, how about Halalu? Uh, they're not really cool belts, but you never really care about the belt. Um, how about... Some... Something... Usually towards the bottom, there's, like, more cool stuff. Uh, something that matches... Not really seeing much. That are catching mine eye. Uh, this is annoying, and they're all clipping through. How about just no belt? It costs 50 gold. It costs, it costs gold, but you can also use other things to pay for <laughs> these sort of things. Okay. Uh, color, uh, armor style, uh, not, uh, that, that, that color, jeez. Uh, unlock. So I want a traditional, traditional. I want to use... So bone mold is usually this sort of like, it's hard to explain, a halalu gold, which makes sense because this is halalu style, which is a house of dark elves. Is that everyone more? Oh, jeez, what did I just do? Oh, uh, uh it's still, it's, it's too light. So maybe I'll stick with this and just color all of the actual armor pieces this color. So everything that looks like it's made out of bone mold needs to look like it's made out of bone mold. Which I think that's all of it. Sure. Uh, then, Leah, yeah, what color do we want to do for the rest of it? Something that looks good, or like at least good enough with this like white, which I can't change. I mean, I could just do white. Jeez, I just saw... Cats are running around, scare the crap out of me. Um, I could just do white. Ice, ice is white-ish. I mean, that, that looks kind of cool. I'd be okay with that. Uh, how about purple? I see that that white makes everything so washed out. And you can't go wrong with with um, purple and kind of yellow gold. Ooh, that doesn't look good though. Um, maybe if I do gray, which looks very similar to the white, if I'm going to be honest here. I mean, that looks okay, too. I kind of like the gray. I just don't like that pattern. I wish I could change out that pattern. This would be so much better without it. If I do marble white, just make it super, super white. Looks really cool, too. When I was younger... I wanted to be a maid. That's nice. Um, Stendar White. Cast, That's kind of icy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talented. Mm -hmm. After three months of training, I could barely light a candle. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't yeah, have yeah. liked it. The Mage's Guild is all dust and rules. This has kind of like a golden hue to it, but doesn't really look good with all that white. So I, you know, I'm just going to stick with the Moonstone. I already lost it. Marble White. Here we go. Marble White. I'm going to stick with the white. Really bright white. That looks fine enough, I think. Sure. Um, I'm going to probably mix a little bit of a different color in there. Oh, yep. Oh, and Pepper has brought me a present. Her floof. I mean, it looks really weird in this color and this light, but uh, they're just like little fuzzy balls, and she, she plays fetch like a dog. Well, at least she used to a little bit better. She's getting worse at it. It's just, there she goes. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, got this golden color. We got white. Um, oh, there's some clipping there, but I'm just going to ignore it because I like these pauldrons a little too much. 
Um, dome in deep blue. How about like a dark blue? Oh, that looks great, actually. Cool. All right, so we'll go with like a dark blue or kind of like a, a washed out kind of blue, white, and then the armor itself. I think it accents okay. I don't know what I just colored, but whatever. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, just kind of don't want to spend too much time on this, which I'm sure I have already. Um, I want that blue back, and I want to do that. Switch those around. And then I want the white over here. Sure. And then uh, that's purple. Let's switch that up for white. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want that to be white. I want that to be the blue. What do you know about the dark elf Ashlanders? No, stop it. Jordan, Not much. control yourself. They keep to themselves. I think they worship Daedra. I heard they don't live in towns because the dark elf houses hate them. Mm, that's Just okay. I mean, us, something looks a little funny the back there. Is the I had a nickel. Uh, so if I me do that. Uh, like that. That's better. Much better. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to... Can I color the staff at all? Sure. I think this looks fine. Uh, this is going to cost eight, eight and a half thousand gold. That's fine. I have enough. Um, apply gold. Boom. That's the outfit. The brief look into the... Uh, well, probably not brief enough. But now this is my outfit. So whenever I change stuff... Whenever I change how I... Whatever I'm wearing... Um, I will always look like this. My icy boy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Non-combat pets. I'm going to keep Luna out. Uh, oh, that was a really cool mount. I'm going to change my mount one more time. I'm maybe not be... Maybe not a Kagudi. doesn't really match the aesthetic. So, bipedals. I have a tessellated gua. Gua. Boom. So, here's my, my frost fire mage. Or, uh... Yeah, Frost Fire Mage. He doesn't do a lot of fire yet, but he will. And there we go. Good old look into uh into the Elder Scrolls Online. And I will be signing off. I am really tired. It's been a long day at work. Uh, playing video games on the internet and I have not even eaten dinner yet and it's almost 9 o'clock and I know it's Monday and that means a lot of our restaurants and stuff are probably going to be closed for whatever reason because Mondays and so I'm probably going to have to scrounge something up fun 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 okay so let's see here I was sent a schedule of when this this say uh, this channel will be live again let me find it because let's see here. Um, da, 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 LB. Okay, so today is Monday. Uh, so this channel will be next. Well, the next time this channel will be live will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I have to specify Eastern, <laughs> especially for me because my work is central, so I switch back all the time. Um, so, uh, so Becca will be playing Dead by Daylight tomorrow. And then Lauren will be playing, um, I don't remember what she's playing. I think she's playing a horror game of sorts. Um, but she'll be back on Wednesday. And then we'll see about next time I will be on. Maybe sometime soon. We will see. Probably not nearly as long. But we'll see. Play it by ear. It wasn't too bad. So, I'm trying to remember what's the, <laughs> the outro. I believe the outro is, uh, I like what they always say, as they always say, hack recklessly. We'll see you guys next time. Um, probably we'll see you Thursday. I'm here on Thursdays with, uh, Sam, Max, and Lauren, uh, for Themeless Thursday. 
Um, don't know what we'll be playing. We always we always uh, figure out last minute or the day of. So who knows what we'll be playing? Maybe we'll be playing ESO. Probably not, because <laughs> it's not it's not. Uh, it's a little bit of a trash fire sometimes. <laughs> so okay, for all those who are watching. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, see you see you Thursday. And like I said before, uh, hack recklessly. Uh, see you later. <laughs>